Life is beautiful. In 1939, Guido Orifice, a cheerful, fun, and charismatic young Italian of Jewish origin, arrived at his uncle's house in Arezzo the work as a waiter at his hotel. There he met a beautiful young teacher named Dora, who fell in love immediately and did his best to conquer it. Carlos, her princess, and greatest, great, greatest, her happily what the prince good morning princess. Every time he saw her, but she was the fiancée of a fascist official named Rodolfo. The first half of the film shows the political change that was taking place in the country. Guido imitated the way of walking of the Nazi soldiers and parodied his races and pausó the scientific the theories. One day at the hotel where Guido works, a doctor arrived, the doctor Lessing, who immediately became his friend since both of them were fond of riddles and spent their time considering each other. When the party of Rodolfo and Dora's engagement was held at the hotel, Guido arrived and conf confessed his feelings to hear Dora who was never truly in love with Rodolfo, goes with Guido on her horse. Why, while all this happened, the advance of fascism was increasingly evident. The business of Guido's uncle on his horse are frequently covered what graffiti and anti-Semitic messages. Six years later, in Guido and Dora were married and had a son, Carlos Calles Giosio. Despite the war and the Nazi invasion of Italy, they remained Happy Guido opened a bookstore and Dora continued what here work is a teacher. On the day of Josue birthday, Guido, his uncle and Josue were arrested because of their Ye Jewish origin and on a train bound for a concentra concentration camp. Although Dora was not Jewish, she also demands to get on the train to stay with her family, but upon reaching the camp, the men and women were immediately separated, and Guido's uncle and many others were sent directly to the gas chambers, since they are not considered useful for work. Guido hides his son from the terrible situation they were living, making him believe that 